Hi everyone! So, we are not in my nursery. We are in my craft room because my nursery uh, still has boxes and things in front of it and I can't really get through. So we are doing this box opening in my craft room. So you'll see a little bit different. I'm actually on a desk. So, um, but I had to do this box opening and I had to do it now because I really, really need to open it. <laughs> so I'm very impatient. So I needed to open it. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and try to film this um, in the craft room. So I am doing the best I can. I have a different tripod and that's different than what I'm used to working with. And the lighting is different. Um, the lighting actually may be better here. I'm not sure. Um, but I hope you're able to see everything and of course I have my hand across here because there's personal information that you guys don't need to know so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this box opening because I think it's gonna be really super cute and I'm gonna open it this way and I'm going to turn it this way okay so hopefully you guys are gonna see all this and it's all in this is the highest I could get my my tripod it's like it's like right <laughs> So I'm trying the best I can to get it in here. So, um, of course, I would turn it the wrong way. So before I get started in opening this package up, this is from Lori Duncan. Um, I just bought this from her. Um, very fast shipping. She got it to me here really quick. Uh, I should have done this several days ago, but I just haven't had the time with my kids moving out and helping them move and stuff. It's just been kind of chaotic around here. So I thought today it's kind of quiet and I'm going to see if I can get this done. So, oh, and today, this morning, I got my first COVID shot. Yay! So we'll see how all that plays out. You know, even if things happen, you know, hopefully not anything bad. But um, I'm just happy to at least get my first shot out of the way. And three more weeks later, I will go for my next one. And hopefully that will be it and I will be safer and I'm very happy about that so yeah today is the first day my first COVID shot so I just wanted to share that with everybody so um, I know people have different views on the the shot and not taking the shot but I'd rather take the shot and be more protected than go out and catch COVID and be stuck in the hospital and can't breathe anyways that's enough of that this isn't about COVID I just wanted to share that I did get my shot today first shot so anyways Lori Duncan sent this to me and we have, oh, I, I, it was so hard for me not to, like, really look at this baby because I really wanted to. Now, when I use the word baby terms lightly, guys, because if you can see this right here, you already know what it is. Um, but <laughs> this is Bunny Babies by Lori, and she is Pixie Mountain Creations. And then it's so cute, but look at this. I'm hoping you're able to see it, and I know there's going to be reflection, guys, but we'll get into more. Yeah, there's reflect, lots of reflection from my window, So, um, but we'll be able to get more. Maybe it's better down here. We'll be able to get more into it as we go. So, um, And then here we have um, Pixie Mountain Creations Little Lisa, sculpted by... Lindy Schreier, I think it's Schreier. I'm so bad. I know I'm probably killing your name. Um, <laughs> Lindy, I think is how it's pronounced, the last name, I'm not sure. But the reborn artist is Lori Duncan, Pixie Mountain Creations, March 6, 2021. So that's when this little one was born. And here's another card from Lori, a reborn and silicone artist. Really, really cute. And she's got... James and Vivian down there, guys. Look at James and Vivian. Oh, they're so cute. But she's got um, other babies that she has made. I'm trying to figure this out in the process. So, yeah, guys, check her out. Pixie Mountain Creations. Everybody should know Lori Duncan. She's a well-known artist. Everybody should know her. Um, but she had these on her channel when she did a live. And I kept debating about whether I should get her or not. Um, but her painting skills are so beautiful that I thought I need to get this bunny there's a story behind this bunny and you'll see here in just a minute and we have cute little because it's Easter she's got like Easter eggs and jelly beans and everything all over here cute here's a little bunny 
um, wrapped in some like green grass. <laughs> Tissue paper, but look, and there's another bunny here. Cute, cute. So, yes, when I seen her, I kind of fell in love with her. Couldn't understand the reason why I fell in love so much with this bunny. You will see here in a minute why. Um, I didn't realize it. Okay, there's a story to all this, and I'll as we open her up, I'll understand. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you more about it. So, but um, oh my gosh, we have so cute. So we have how cute everything is tied. So cute. It's like I don't even want to untie it. Everything is so cute. Look at this, guys. Oh, it's so cute, and it's got like a little bunny egg, a little bunny egg, dude. <laughs> And he's on the super fuzzy. This is fuzzy, fuzzy. It's like I don't even want to open it. I hope I can get it open without getting it tangled. We'll see. I'm not very good at this. I may have to cut it, and I don't really want to. Um, maybe I should have dug into the box a little bit, but I, d I didn't want to do this. You know, I wanted to do an opening, and I wanted to be surprised. Um, but I'm having a little problems with getting it off so I may have to cut it oh my gosh Lori I may have to cut this and I really don't want to cut it I don't know if there's another way to get out of this um gosh I would sit here mind you if I wasn't doing a box opening I would sit here for hours and just try to get this thing apart because I love this but it has given me a little bit of issue and I probably because I pulled wrong or did something wrong um so I'm trying to, yeah, I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pull it apart. Oh, I hate to. It's making me sad, but, um, I can't get it off. So dang it. Uh, I'm going to have to cut it. Oh my gosh, this is breaking my heart because this is the cutest thing ever, but I'm trying to get it undone. But this, this video is going to go way too long if I, if I keep doing this. So I'm just going to have to cut it. I don't even know where to cut it at. I'm just so scared. I'm going to cut it right here. Oh, this is breaking my heart. Breaking my heart. Um, and she's, It's still stuck on some things. But we'll go through it. But I did lose a little bit of it. It's sitting over here. And it's probably, it, and, and dummy me, should have waited. Because it's wrapped around the baby. But, you know, I'm impatient. So... <laughs> But all this is wrapped around the baby, so we have, I'm going to pull it out, we have a bunny, and he's a sucker, isn't that cute? So we have a little bunny sucker, and then that's for me. And then look how cute, we got a little bunny straw, that's so sweet. Um, let's see what else we have, and look at these little, um, oh my gosh, these little flowers. Which I just like pulled apart and it's all over my blanket. And I'm looking at this blanket right now. And Lori, I am in love with this blanket. Oh my god. I'm just look, getting a, a little view of it. And it's like, oh my gosh. How sweet. Oh my gosh. I see a bunny right here, guys. If you can see it. But look at how such sweet. Something smells. I think it's these. They actually smell. I smell it. They smell so good. This whole box, when I opened it up, just had... Some beautiful kind of aroma coming from it. And that's what it's from. It's from those little flowers. So in here, we have this sweet bunny bottle. Guys, look how cute. And it's full of jelly beans. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It's got a little bear up here. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is so cute. It's got like a little baby buggy around it. Oh my gosh, so cute, Lori. Really, really cute. And then we have... I'm going to go ahead and take this out because she came with an outfit and I'm so excited. Um, because I thought, well, how do we dress these, you know? Once you'll see her, you'll understand more. But we have a little black band. Cute. You know what? I don't think I have a black band. That's going to come in handy. And look at this outfit. Oh my gosh, look how cute. It's a bunny outfit. Oh my gosh, the feet are so cute. Look at the bottom of the feet. But oh, look at these cute little sweet bunnies. Can you see them? Oh, this is so cute. A little sleeper. I love it. I love it. And look how cute it's going to go. Oh my gosh. So yes, I am like thrilled right now to no end. You have no idea. <laughs> Laura, you know I love your 
your babies and your paintings and things. And like I said, this is a little bit different, guys. This isn't what your, you know, normal kind of box opening. She's different. And we have a pacifier here that is attached to... Um, and let me get my scissors again. I'm sorry, Laura, if I'm making a mess of this. Um, you had a brilliant idea. This was amazing. But she has a pacifier. And let me get that out. So you can all see. I didn't quite break what I want. Or I didn't quite get what I needed to get to get into the pacifier. So I'm just going to snip off a little bit. And we will get this out. We don't need the bag, really. I mean, even though it's a cute little bag. But here's her cute little pacifier. And it's pink, guys. And I'm sorry if you can't see the colors. And it's kind of faded. Um, but this is a pink pacifier. That would go with my little baby. And we have, some, oh, we have something else here. Oh, look at here. We have some diapers. Oh, this is so cute. So cute. Look at this diaper. Oh, my God. It's teeny, teeny. Oh, and it says yum on it. And it's got, like, little jars and hearts. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. Oh, look at this. I don't have a diaper like this. This is really, really cute. Can you see that? Really cute. Oh, my goodness. So I got that. And then we have this. Oh my goodness. Look at this hat, guys. Look at this hat. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cute? It's white. And then this is pink and white. And like I said, guys, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, you can see it better. See it right there? Yeah, I am. This is really, really bright in here. Um, so yeah, that's a hat. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so cute. So we got that. And let's see if I can, man, oh, look at, we have another outfit. Oh, my goodness, guys, we have another outfit. So, so cute. Another bunny, as you see, guys, this is definitely a bunny theme. So look how cute this onesie is. Oh, my gosh, look at all the bunnies. Oh, because this came in perfect timing for... Easter, she is going to be dressed to the hilt in her bunny outfit. Oh my gosh, look at the butt. Look at the butt. Isn't that cute with that bunny on the butt? Oh my gosh, it's just... So this is like pink and white striped. And that is the butt. Oh my gosh, look at this outfit. This outfit is so cute. <laughs> it is so cute. Oh, and that bunny and the butt. And then we have a cute little head bow for her hair to go with this outfit. Oh my goodness. She's adorable. All the clothes, Lori, are so cute. I'm loving everything. Except for the thing I screwed up the most, you know, and this is what I wanted to keep. And I will, you know, I'm going to tell you, I will work on this to get it undone because I love this. Now here's a little piece I cut off. But you know what? That's really cute to be hanging around somewhere. Look. So I will definitely hang that. If not anywhere else, it'll be hanging in my room. Look at that. Oh, that bunny is cute. That little bunny egg. Oh, he's so cute. That would be cute to put a clippy of a pacifier on this. And put the clippy on here. And then she. this would be just hanging around. Oh, cute. But I love, love this. So I'm going to be undoing all this cute, full of cute little... They're so soft. They're really super soft. So, I'm going to take our little, little girl out. I'm just going to wipe this off because when I opened it, I got little leaves. Or not leaves, but little pieces of, um, oh gosh. It smells so good, Lori. I don't know if you put something in the body or what. But, um, she, oh, yes. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. She told me she was sending me a calendar. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm, I need a calendar because I used to hang my Bountiful Baby calendars up here. And um, I didn't get one because we didn't have rows. And so, unfortunately, I don't have a calendar. And I know you said that this, you know, was in March, but it's okay. This calendar is amazing. And of course, there's little Tiana, if you can see. I'm going to bring it up, but there's, this is by Paula Briggs. Boo-hoo, silicone's looking. There's Tiana, and everybody knows I have Tiana. I love Tiana. She's so cute. But I was told, Lori told me, that Winter Doll Show, 
that did not happen. I wouldn't think that happened. Um, here's Pixie Mountain Creations. So Lori is in this calendar. How cute! Look at you. What? A, that's awesome. You holding your babies? Oh, and then you know, every time I see Vivian or James, I just look at yours, Vivian, with red hair. Oh my gosh, uh, it's the cutest. So, and then I also heard that she told me that Cheryl. And everybody knows who Cheryl is. I was told that Cheryl was also in this book. And let me see. I don't know. I can't. Talk. This is really hard to see who that is. But here's Maria Lindows. Um. And I don't know who this one is. I'm just trying to see if I can. Here's Cheryl's. So my good friend Cheryl. Everybody knows her from Australia. She does all my silicone babies. And that's her. So they're in the book. They're in this calendar. I am so excited that I get to have a calendar with my two favorite artists in here. I am thrilled to death. And it just keeps going, guys. These pictures are just beautiful. I mean, absolutely. There's Mc MacPherson's in there. Um, Rebecca Cunningham is in here. There's just so many, so many wonderful artists in here. Um, I could keep going, but... I need to shorten my video some. But thank you, Lori. I will treasure this, and it's going up in my uh, craft room as soon as I'm off this. <laughs> as soon as I'm off this video, it's going in my room. So now down to the good stuff. Yes, I can't wait. Uh, some really cute. Now I've seen her already, but I haven't seen her in person, so I'm so very excited. But this blanket is to die for with these bunnies on here. Oh my gosh! I don't know where you found this blanket at, but I love it. And she will always be in it at all times. This is her blanket, and she deserves to be in it. But this is her head, guys, and I'm just going to show you her feet. Um, so, as you know... <laughs> probably by now, that this is a cuddle bunny. A cuddle bunny. She is a cuddle bunny, which you can treat as a regular um, cuddle baby, uh, a reborn cuddle baby. The cuddle baby, she's filled. You can put clothes on them. You can do anything you can do to your reborns. But she's, you know, because they have cuddle, you know, everybody knows about the cuddle babies. She is a cuddle baby bunny. Guys, a cuddle baby bunny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's so, she's so cute. Look at, look at her now. Okay, this is the catch. Guys, do you know, you know, now if anybody's been following me for a long time, you know about my mom's baby that I tell you all the time that she loved on and kissed and everything. Um, when I seen Lori with this baby, I had no idea. I wasn't even thinking about her being the same reborn doll. She, <laughs> she is Elizabeth from Upstairs. And I did not know that till about an hour after I bought her because I was in love with this face and didn't even realize that it was my Elizabeth I had upstairs. And that was my mom's doll. So I thought, okay, my mom gave me a sign to tell me to buy this baby because she is the same baby as my mom loved as a reborn doll. Not as a cuddle baby, but as a reborn doll. And I'm like, this is crazy. I just fell in love with her immediately and thought, I have to have her. And then figure out that it's Elizabeth, my mom's favorite doll. So now I have two Elizabeths, but this one's a little bit different because Lori painted her. So she looked totally different when I seen her than versus the one upstairs because um, that one, that Elizabeth, if I'm not mistaken, came from Sarah Mellon. Um, and so... I think she was I think she was the one I bought it her from. Um and that was in 2018. So in 2021 we have a new Elizabeth. Even though I won't ever forget the old Elizabeth, and I'll still bring that Elizabeth out because she's a full-blown um reborn doll. 
where this one is a cuddle baby bunny and so we'll still be able to dress her and put her in clothes it's, it's just that she's a cuddle bunny and she's so soft Lori she is so soft oh my gosh she is precious and this little bunny she's got a little baby bunny with her so now I'm gonna lift her up guys because I am like <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this, but I'm like, look at this baby. Can you see her? She has a pink, I don't know if you can see it, but look how cute she is. And she's got bunny ears. <laughs> look at her bunny ears. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And her belly is pink, and I don't know if you can see that. I wish you could. Um, too much light in this room, but you get the idea. But look at Lori's painting, guys. Is she not the cutest? Hi! We're going to have to name her something else besides Elizabeth. And maybe a bee? Maybe a bee name for the first name? Because she's a bunny. But um, you can actually take her hat off. She's she's like a little baldy. Um, but she looks so cute when she has a little bow on her head. But as a bunny, she's the most adorable bunny I've ever seen. Oh, I just love it. I love <laughs> look at these ears and they're pink here too on the inside here they're pink and around her face there's a little bit of pink and then there's pink on her ears and I wish this video could do her justice because I can't show you all the exact things I think you can see a little bit of pink see the difference in the colors of the ears and then around her face she's got some some pink right around here um, but <laughs> She is a cuddle baby, guys. So she's de she's a cuddle bunny. So yeah, there's a whole backstory, and I think you put a scent in here, Cheryl. And she smells so good. Or it's those flowers. I can't. I don't know which one it is, but oh my gosh, she smells so good. And all I want to do right now is just hug her to death. Look at that face and those eyes. Like I said, she looks so different than my other Elizabeth upstairs because two different artists painted her. But oh my gosh, look at that face. Come down here and look at this body. It's all cuddle, all cuddle baby, guys. I love my cuddle, my cuddle babies. I really do. But is a bunny? Never in a million years did I think I was going to have a bunny cuddle baby. Never. But, um... I don't know if Lori has any of them left, but if you're interested in this cute little bunny, maybe not this one. She ha might have, um, I think she's got a sleeper out there from the last time I, I looked out there. She had a, um, look at her with her ears. <laughs> Let me push her down this way. Um, look at her with her ears. <laughs> she's so cute. So yes, we can dress her in clothes. Um, but the last time I looked out there, Lori had a sleeper. I think it was the Maya sleeper as a bunny. So check out Lori's, you know, um, um, her website, Lori Duncan. Pixie Mountain Creations, guys. She doesn't do just bunnies. She does silicones, and she does reborns. Um, so if you need a doll, go to Lori. She's really cute. She's like Cheryl. Cheryl does all uh, silicones and then Lori does silicones reborns and now cuddle babies <laughs> so not that she hasn't made cuddle babies before I don't I don't really know but this is a cuddle bunny and I'm so excited to put her into my collection and she will be with me forever because she is the sweet Elizabeth that my mom loves so much that's so why I, I didn't I didn't put them two together seriously I didn't put them two together um, I'm thinking, why would I want two of the same doll? Well, Lori painted this one, and it's much different than the other one. And plus, she's a cuddle baby, and she's a bunny. So it's like, same face, different, you know, same doll, different face. And her eyelashes, Lori, are beautiful. Her eyelashes are so pretty. Wow, her painting is amazing, guys. Oh, that's why I made her do my Vivian trying to get her to do another doll for me. I'm not going to say which doll. Uh, we have to get it first. But I can't wait to get the next one from her. And it is a reborn doll. But um, we're hoping that we can get one to paint. So anyways guys, I just wanted to come out here and I wanted to show you my beautiful 
bunny baby. I need to name her yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to name her, but I will find a cute little name for her. And then she has her little, I don't know if I really showed you this, and it, can you hear that? It has that little jiggle inside of her bunny. It, isn't that cute? Look at this little, oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. So she's got her own little bunny with her being a bunny. <laughs> and I love it, Lori. I love her. She is the cutest ever. And every time I look at her, I see my mom. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to come out here, guys, and show you and, you know, do my unboxing for you and to show you my brand new little uh, cuddle baby bunny. And like I said, I'll be naming her something. I'm not sure yet. I don't even know if it'll be with a B name. I may just name her something really sweet. And um, I don't know where you found this blanket, Lori, but oh my gosh, it's like crazy. It's like perfect. I don't know if it's just a piece of fleece. I don't know. But it's perfect. It couldn't have been any better to put her in. Guys, look at that blanket. Oh my gosh. And there's the, my new sweet sweet cuddle baby. I just love her. I'm so glad I bought her. Uh, no regrets, even though she's the same doll I already have, but no regrets. None whatsoever. She's painted so good, Lori. So much different than my other, my one I have up there that mom loved. Um, but I can't wait to play with her and dress her up in her clothes. So we're going to be more, see more videos of her. And guys, I can show you, you know, how she looks like without you know, um, bunny. Um, because like I said, she is a cuddle baby and I could dress her into anything and you won't even see her arms or her legs or anything. She'll be dressed as a normal reborn baby. You can take her hat off, like I said, and I could put a bow on her head and you would never know she was a bunny. So she's kind of like a two-in-one doll. You know, you can have a bunny if you want to keep her as a bunny or you dress her up as a regular reborn, put some sleepers on her that, you know, or some little gloves. You have to have something that covers her feet and her arms. Um, but man, I keep talking about her because I love her so much, but I need to go because the video's getting too long. <laughs> I'd keep going if I could. So anyways, thank you so much, Lori, for this beautiful, beautiful baby. I will treasure her always. Always I will treasure her. Um, makes her even more special when I look at her because I, even though you painted her, I still see my mom. You know, so I get to see my mom more often now. Twice. <laughs> now I have two. <laughs> but anyways, um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Thank you so much, Lori, for everything. And make sure you go check her out. And um, I hope everybody's doing well and keeping safe. And um, thank you for joining me. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.